that you can't wear that out. Who would have ever guessed that Catherine and Austin McBroom would be getting a divorce? Okay, yeah, I would have guessed that one. If you don't know who Catherine and Austin are, they started dating in 2015 and a year later welcomed their first child, L, together and started their YouTube channel, The Ace Family, that same year. But let me tell you right now, this family, although had a ton of viewers and a lot of fans, also had quite a bit of people who were critical of the family, especially because there's just so many controversies they've gone into and because they film and vlog their daily lives, viewers were able to get a glimpse in. And over over the years, they welcomed two more kids, Alea and Steele, and for the most part, it seemed like they were living the dream. They had a family, a mansion, a partner to love. However, they started to lose fans for multiple different reasons. Rumors began to circulate that the two may be having troubles in their relationship after fans noticed Catherine and Austin wouldn't interact with each other on Instagram. And Catherine specifically no longer posted Austin, but after all the rumors, Catherine did comment a few heart emojis on his recent post, which seemingly put rumors to rest for now. But Austin also was exposed a few weeks ago after he sent DMs to girls that use a certain platform. I can't think of the name. Only air conditioning? Only ventilator? I think you got the hint, especially if you're a fan of fans. But anyway, he tried to get them to sign to his agency, but one of the girls leaked all the DMs. And right away, people thought this was another way for him to make money from scamming people because they do have quite the history. And just when things seemed quiet, the two posted onto social media sharing their decision to get a divorce. From their post, it seemed like as they spent more and more time as a married couple, they noticed how their paths were no longer necessarily the same, which has caused challenges along the way. And of course, there are children involved in the situation, which must be extremely hard, especially when their lives are so public. But both Catherine and Austin have stated their efforts to continue to be the best parents for their kids. And in most public splits, fans are broken when their favorite couple breaks up. But in this case, it seemed like a lot of fans wanted this, especially for Catherine. Under his Instagram comments, many fans expressed happiness with one fan writing, Congratulations girl, you can do so much better than him. He's been weighing you down for years. With another writing, It's probably not the best time to say this, but it's about time. Happy for you. You deserve loyalty. I also stumbled across one user who wrote, Why is everyone blaming Austin? And one user who replied to that comment and actually got more likes said, It takes two minutes of research to understand why they blame Austin. Don't even start with this. Whereas Austin's comments are telling him he messed up. And if you're confused, don't worry, I got you. For years now, Austin was constantly in cheating scandals as multiple women accused him of asking them to sign NDAs, which are non-disclosure agreements, after they spent some time together. There's multiple screenshots and messages with one woman who even claimed she was pregnant. And when another woman tried to warn Catherine about her man, she would deny it and even respond to them, but not in the way some probably hoped, but that must have changed. When you think of problematic family bloggers, they may have been the first to pop up in your brain. If you need a refresher or don't know their past at all, get a snack. Firstly, a lot of fans noticed that Austin wasn't the nicest to Catherine on camera, as many compilations online show all the times conflict occurred on video and actually made it online. Let's take a look at one clip. No. Good thing I don't have to know. I'm gonna say it. Good thing I have to be on camera today. Okay. You can clearly see and hear Austin was unhappy, all because his hair didn't look good on camera, and Catherine just replied with okay. Austin hasn't always been the nicest to his fans either. In fact, when one fan offered him free clothing, this is how he responded. I would personally be devastated if I tried to offer someone I looked up to something for free and they had that type of response. Of course he didn't owe that fan anything, but at least turned it down politely. Even ignoring her would have been a better option than that, at least in my opinion. And just like all family vloggers, especially when they're online and being watched by millions, they are too young to understand the actions and consequences of what could happen, especially with all the cameras in their everyday lives. All their kids were basically born into vlogging, and many noticed that their oldest daughter, Elle, has even adapted to acting differently for cameras. It's sad because this was after one failed attempt at filming the intro that we showed in the beginning. And they had to retake it, and you can see Elle putting on a smiley face for cameras. They even once made a whole 29 minute video talking about how someone broke into their family mansion, posed for the thumbnail, and then had allegations come in that the cops were actually hired actors to play the parts. I remember this happening and people began to get really mad that they would allegedly fake the scary event for a video. But who knows, maybe it was true, it's quite mixed online, on what some believe, and I just want to know your opinions if you heard about that. 
Beyond that, they also held a basketball charity event in 2018 and would donate $100,000 towards a charity of choice. And after this event, they only allegedly donated $75,000, which is still a ton of money, but I think they should have been more transparent with it. Austin specifically, I would say, has faced more controversy than Catherine. A lot of viewers actually seem to really like her, but more so when she's actually just by herself and not with her husband at the time. It's no wonder a lot of their followers are mainly there for Catherine. After all, majority of their fans are little girls who look up to her. His old tweets also went viral and let's just say he talks a lot about women and their race and even judged some for having body hair. Okay Austin, let's not judge females especially when your so called beard looks like an upside down tree. Sorry, at least he's spreading the word about caring for our environment, I don't know. But anyways, Austin addressed those tweets in a video with his mom. Poor mom got dragged into this. But a lot of viewers said that his apology was just him manipulating his own mom the whole time. They also made an Ace Family app in 2018 which contained exclusive videos and Austin described it as real Ace Family members. But of course it wasn't a free app. Fans had to pay for a monthly subscription fee to watch those videos. And many fans who also ordered items from the app such as merch were charged for it, never got it or it came months later. And their app suddenly stopped updating but fans kept paying month by month. Remember when TanaCon was a failed event? Well, let's not forget about the Ace Fest, which the former couple described to their fans as Disneyland meets Coachella on their website. And for more incentive to purchase tickets, they said two VIP ticket holders would be given an invite to Austin and Catherine's wedding, which was set to take place at the end of 2022. And Business Insider reported that for the price for a one day pass to Disneyland starts at $104. And heads up, this was a few years ago, and we all know inflation probably impacted that number. But the price for the Ace Fest tickets were actually $299 for 3 people and $499 for a VIP package for 5 people, which included meet and greet opportunities. And although single tickets were not sold online, one YouTuber who live streamed the event said he bought a single ticket at the door for $121. Yeah, more than Disneyland. They also promoted this event as the potentially last Ace Family event, but it definitely wasn't planned out very well, which I'm surprised because they do have so much money, or at least it seemed like they did. There was no set location when tickets went on sale, the event moved up with no exclamation, and when the day finally came, it was the Ace Family Fest, and the majority of the attendees called it disappointing. But YouTuber Spilled Sesh did note that the two spent a good amount of time meeting their fans and seemed very kind to them, so for that price I would hope so. And if you thought it was only fans who said that they were scammers, internet personality Bryce Hall said the exact same thing after Austin kept trying to get him to do a TikTokers versus YouTubers boxing event. And according to Bryce, he never saw his 5 million dollars that Austin promised him. Although I don't personally watch family vlogs anymore, I won't lie, their thumbnails which showed their mansions often piqued my interest because they were so lavish. But they would move into a new one every few years and suddenly would face a ton of issues from their home. From no running water to claims on the builder using cheap materials on their home. But ultimately, their house was foreclosed before moving into another luxury house that many will never be able to afford. And it didn't seem like it was Catherine and Austin exclusive issue because his brother Landon McBroom has also faced similar backlash as fans showed support to his baby mama, Shiloh Walker, who has also walked away from the McBrooms after she claimed the relationship was harmful and she wanted to take action to protect her child after they also started a family vlogging channel. It's a lot messier than this because she also talks about Austin and Landon's parents playing a part on the issue and shortly after Shyla and Landon announced the end of their YouTube channel, she actually sought out a restraining order against him after claims that he physically harmed her. Okay, we're about to discuss some of the more serious controversies and we are going to be talking about sensitive topics just for a warning. I actually found out who the Ace family was after seeing the 2019 video of which Austin posted himself onto Instagram. Instagram, which showed him taking a girl into a, a door and she wasn't their daughter but there were claims that she was related to Catherine but I couldn't find sources to confirm that. Austin bought her a lollipop from the store which was shaped as a yeah plus in the video he says guys I'm in so much trouble but she said she's gonna steal if I didn't buy it yeah. On a separate note, Cole Kerrigan, who's a YouTuber and former Team 10 member, posted a video accusing Austin of SA. But the situation was eventually moved on 
when the victim herself posted a statement onto Instagram saying Cole wasn't telling the full truth and he posted it not for the right reasons as money was a motive. But some think her statement was questionable, but I'll let you be the judge of that. While Catherine and Austin were together, I saw more people shipping her with her ex, Michael B. Jordan, than her own husband at the time. They used to be spotted on dates between December of 2013 all the way up to April 2014 and many fans are already telling her to go back to him, not even a day after they announced their plans for divorce. And of course, this is just what the majority of the public think after seeing years and years of the former couple's lives unfold online. Plus, there are clips online of Austin's personality shifting from the happy, upbeat persona to a more angry behavior once he knows there are no cameras around. But regardless, I just hope that their children are able to receive all the support through this difficult time as the two work on co-parenting. What are your thoughts following the news of Austin and Catherine's divorce? I really hope everyone involved gets through this tough time and be able to grow as their own individual person. But of course, I want to hear all your thoughts. And if you made it this far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Melanie with Inform Overload and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.